Hey guys, this is Tara or Tumbledown here, uh, just with a dolly update. I had a really neat meet and greet today with a BJD collector um, from Denver uh, that goes to Denver Dolls a lot. And, you know, I've been there a few times, but um, so we met halfway uh, just because I posted some clothes on Facebook and, um, you know, trust issue or whatever. Uh, I was like, that's cool. I'll meet you. Um, his name was Logan and pretty cool. Um, is really good at sculpting and stuff too. Very talented. Another artist. Um, so he bought a whole bunch of clothes, MSD size mostly. And then some of the recast dolls that I had. Um, my two Supia girls. And um, uh, a Minifi, what was it? Miko? And then I had some Minifi heads that were reca recast that he uh, purchased. So... Um, all of these are legit except for her. My husband bought me her for my birthday. He didn't know what he was doing and I don't really have a problem with it. Um, but that is a recast, um, FID Bianca and I'm still doing her face and stuff. I'm still learning, um, Excuse the doll nudity, um, but I love her. I don't think I'll ever get rid of her because my husband bought her for me. <coughs> and I don't think I'll ever get rid of her because my mom bought her for me. But the body's legit, and I hate the body, too. It's Dolly's teenage dream. Hid the hands. Had put, like, recast hands on it. I don't know. I want a spirit doll or a... I think I'm just going to get the original body that goes with the doll because the coloring is so off. I know you can blush it and everything else, but I'm like, oh, that's such a pain. So it wasn't available, but now it is available. And uh, yeah, I'm going to buy the body to go with that and then sell this one with the original hands. And this resin is so soft and haven't been happy with it. But anyways, I got like, I don't know, cash and then a trade. But I have to show you guys my trade. Um, and this is my, before I get to the trade, my new FID um, Eden. Um, and I finally got his clothes. None of them have shoes from Satoria J. And... You know, the wig color and everything is great, but it looks like a bowl on his head. I wish I could figure out um, how to cut that hair and stuff, but it was so expensive, I kind of don't want to mess with it. Maybe if I put a beanie on his head or something. I don't know. And then his eyes are, you know, they're too small. Whoever makes dolls you know, makes doll eyes, BJD eyes, and make a uh, fashion size or FID, please make the white bigger. <laughs> because the white is not big enough. And then a lot of these don't look good with really light colored eyes because the eyes are so small. So I have to redo his face up. It, it's kind of bad. But I'm still learning. He's kind of my Han Solo type of character. Renegade. Futuristic. And then I want to get rid of her. Um, I've only had her for a year. <laughs> I'm so bad. But I want another FID size. Or a raccoon doll. So I'm looking, and this is kind of a scary thing to do, um, to trade her with somebody, um, or I just might put, put her on eBay and sell her 
and give everybody the link if they want her. Um, but she's in perfect condition. And she's my JID Amy. And all these three are in real skin. And I want to do dark skin next. <coughs> but there's been a big discrepancy with the dark skin. You know, some people like it darker. Some people like it lighter. I personally like it lighter. Um, but I can understand wanting a, more of an ethnic, you know, coloring and stuff. Too bad they weren't both for, you know, an option. But I like the idea of a really tan, tan, you know, guy or girl, you know, that's been out in the sun but doesn't look ethnic. And I want some that are ethnic, but I want them darker than that. But <clears throat> we'll see. Um, and then I have my... And I'm going through, this is my, I love her. I'm still really, really in love with her. This is my doll, doll chateau, Bella, excuse me. And she is legit too. And her little ghost girl outfit. I've done past videos on her. Um, and then I have, still have my doll she Venito, Venito, and he was a recast, but I love him. Would I be willing to sell him? He's got two chips, and the person that shipped it to me did a terrible, terrible job. You know, if I'm accused of anything, it would be over uh, packing. Because, you know, that's people spend a lot of money for these dolls. And I've had people joke, oh, God, you overpack. You know, um, I'm like, yeah, I'd rather overpack than. And I've done videos and stuff to where, you know, took pictures of packing, um, took pictures of shipping labels. You know, I'd be willing to, even if it was an Ipple House, you know, exchange for a raccoon doll or an FID to do a live video chat. You know, I think maybe is another cool idea <clears throat> At the place that you're packing the doll, you know, maybe you've done another video to where you wrapped it all in bubble wrap and everything, and then you take it and pack it in one of their boxes, you know, live, and they give you address, and you're talking at the same time, and you're sending at the same time, and they're doing the same thing, maybe at the same time, I don't know. Because that's a $500 doll that you don't want to ship somebody and they don't ship you back. That's always a scary thing. Um, and I've had a couple bad experiences where I've done them right and they've done me wrong. Uh, you just got to tell the world, I guess. But, um... Yeah, my trade today, something that he tempted me with, is a limited edition of only 200. Uh, it's not really my type. I like the smiling one better. But I was so struck by the eyes and the sculpt, it was really neat. I do want to sell this. Um, it's like worth 450 bucks, but limited of only 200. I don't know. We'll see. And it is sold out. So it's a little fee. Luna is what it is. And it's a full set. So it has their certificate. Uh, he bought it at Denver Doll. It was sitting there. And he just bought it. Because I don't know what the situation was. But... It even has the original faceplate and stuff, too. But look at her. I don't even want to touch her, honestly. And then it has the sleeping head. Here comes my husband at the worst time. I swear to God. <laughs> and then the, the hat is magnetic, the crown is. And it also has the change of feet. Hold on. Hey, Olivia. 
Nobody will see me in a second. <sighs> he comes charging in. So anyways, I just want to show you guys. And then I am going to sell this um, girl. He's singing outside the door. Um, yeah, anyways. So it has the feet and everything. It has the sleeping head, the wig, the crown, the full outfit. The only thing that's wrong with it is there is a button missing, just one. See that? Everything else is perfect. Everything is like perfect. And she even handled her, you know, just very, very carefully. So if anybody's interested, message me um, on any of these two. Um, I'm very leery of doing anything. But the only thing I'm interested in is a raccoon doll and um, or an FID Ibble house. So... And it's got little ice shoes. It's just the cutest thing ever. And they have little snowflakes on them. Anyways, gotta go. Bye.